Welcome back to Slingshot and Gauge. I just want to give a uh, quick review of uh, my 2006 Club Car DS and uh, what I've done to it and uh, some of the things that I probably wouldn't do to it again. So starting out with the suspension, it's a double, double A arm suspension. It looks like a GTW, but I got it like 10 years ago with the uh, 14 inch Dominator wheels with uh, 23 inch tires. And the worst part, the wheels are great. The worst part about the tires is, you know, when you get new tires, you have the dimples in here and they throw a ton of mud up into your fender flares. This is the third set of fender flares I've had for this thing. Um, I would get the narrowest and most stout ones you can. The previous two, uh, two pairs that I had or two sets that I had uh, stuck out about this far uh, were of thinner plastic and uh, they got broken pretty pretty fast so if you're thinking about fender flares narrow thicker think about tires uh and you don't want any mud thrown don't get don't get knobby tires like this um because it just it tosses mud everywhere uh the suspension yeah uh it's a good ride but um it seems to wear the bushings pretty fast and as you can see right there and that's actually new those bushings are actually new in there and new in there. Uh, my cow catcher with 14 inch light bar. I love the light bar. I actually use this more than the actual headlights or the 32 inch light bar. Um, but this is supposed to mount to a piece of aluminum that looks like this. As you can see, it is uh, come unwelded. So, I think it was fine, but you know, just, just the bouncing uh, eventually broke the welds. I haven't had a chance to weld it because I don't know how to weld aluminum. So hopefully somebody, uh, one of my friends can help me out with that. Got the uh, uh, Uga horn underneath there. And I had to use a 100 watt, one ohm resistor to get that to work. So if you put an Uga horn on there, you're gonna need that. Also the headlights, I had LEDs in here, they burned out, so I went back to regular bulbs. I might change those back to LEDs because these headlights are horrible. The 32 inch bar, uh, everything's operated with switches, so. It's super bright. If you're going down the road, it's pretty much unusable because it's blinding who's ever coming at you. Um, like I said, the 14 inch bar, that's normally the one I use, or sometimes the headlights. All operated on independent switches. Uh, I got the carbon fiber dash up here. Uh, got Fosgate uh, six or six and a half up here with the Alpine UTE UTE seven three Bluetooth. This is the third radio I've had in here. There is no CD player. Yeah, it's Bluetooth or USB flash drive. Getting ready to put the old KTP 445 Alpha in. And we'll see if that makes a difference. The diamond plate uh, down here, it's, it's lasted a good while. This is at least 10 years old. And it's starting to show some wear. Um, but uh, yeah, it's not, not too bad. Uh, over here, you know, we got the two Eagle 48s. Uh, independent interstate. You know, during the radio and the lights. Uh, I mounted the charger in here, which, you know, it's a good idea at the time. Uh, but if you're cruising through a lot of water or throwing a lot of mud, you probably want to, you, know, you don't want to do that. Um, it's nice because you can just plug in your extension cord or anybody's extension cord and uh, charge it up. And here's the charger that Big Battery gives you. Um, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of generic. Um, got the USB charger for the phones right here, 12.6 coming off the one interstate battery. So that's always nice to know. Uh, the batteries are, the Eagles are charging now, and as you can see, 54.4. So they're, they're about done charging. Um, you put your back seat on here and you want some armrests. Get the armrests that have this little metal extension coming out right here. 
Um, the other ones, they don't hold up. And uh, these weren't too expensive. I want to say they were like maybe 40 bucks. But yeah, make sure it has uh, this prop ride right here. Underneath, if you watch some of the other videos, uh, you know, I got the Red Hawk Admiral MOT2A or A2 with the uh, Navitas 440 up there. And so far, that's my third controller. Actually, my fourth. Um, <laughs> And uh, I had the original motor, then I had the bandit upgrade, which blew up, smoked the controller. And Avitas was nice enough to give me another controller before that. I had the Curtis 350 amp. And before that, I had the Curtis 250 amp, which, uh, uh, yeah, I burned both those up. And it just has the standard 6-inch lift in the back. And I don't know if you can see that. That is one of the best things you can add is a reverse light. Also has ASCO disc brakes on the back. Excuse me, I shut off the back light there. Um, I want to say they're about 400 if I recall. But uh, yeah, if you got the regular drum brakes on here, this is a huge improvement. I know they make like hydraulic front brake kits and stuff like that uh, nowadays. But if, if you want to stop, start out with this. It, it's the way to go. I've never replaced the brake pads. I've only adjusted them once in probably oh, nine years. So yeah, ASCO rear disc brakes. A lot of people ask me about my hitch uh, design. My dad's hitch mounts off this, which, um, you know, this isn't really reinforced too much. So I took some strapping and ran it from here down to here which uh which helped immensely but for the hitch um <laughs> me and my buddy came up with this we put a thick piece of metal across here tied it into this and i used a u-clamp inside here to hold this in place and it uh it does well it does it does better than the hitch that would be um off the step in the back um but yeah you know that's just kind of country fabricated it <laughs> fabricated i guess um rear seat you know i bought that brand new uh, a while ago i redid uh just recovered both of these here uh the rest of the speakers uh, rockford fosgate six by nine and just a standard um, box which i covered in bed liner and it actually seems to be pretty waterproof uh, so that's worked out well. Up top here, we just have a speaker that, I don't know, I just had it laying around the house. So I was like, yeah, let's throw this speaker up here. And uh, it sounds pretty good without the uh, Alpine amp, but uh, tonight or tomorrow, we're gonna see if it sounds any better. The roof, uh, this golf cart did not come with a roof. I had to buy um, your front support that cost, I think it was $180 shipped on eBay. I did have the rear lollipops here and my buddy had to weld me a piece of square tube back here um, to accommodate the roof. It is, it is super sturdy and super squeaky. Um, if you want some interior lightage, uh, cheap just Amazon strip light, but if you have a hard corner to go around, you're probably gonna need a hot glue gun. Rear view mirror, pretty much a necessity. You know, it's like 30, 40 bucks. Uh, my biggest disappointment though is this Mad Jax windshield that I put on here. And not very old and I don't use it very much and it's, it's already cracked. So um, it's the smoke windshield, which I like having the smoke windshield. The one smoke thing you don't want to get though is I've noticed with the waterproof smoke cover you can't see the LED display at all during the day. And you might not be able to with the clear one. At night you can see it with the smoke one. But, I, uh, you know, hindsight being 2020, I think I would have got the, uh, the clear guy there. And, uh, yeah, just got uh, a Luga horn button here. Got a reverse light. My two front lights there. Cell phone holder. Bluetooth mic up there. And I got the Dominator steering wheel to match the regular wheels. 
So yeah, that's it. The uh, the 2006 Club Car DS been a uh, been a long project. I think I'm about ready to close up shop on this one, though. I don't uh, I don't see uh, any need to add anything else. I don't even know what else I'd add. But uh, yeah, if uh, any of you have any suggestions on what you'd change or what you might do or have any questions, please let me know. And uh, yeah. Keep golf carting on. Slingshot engage. Out.